Cláudia é foda, né? What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It's your boy, the one and only King Trent TV, and I'm back. Uh, we got some breaking news coming out from the uh, NBA. The Los Angeles Clippers have sat Kawhi Leonard down. He's not going to start for the beginning of the future, the beginning of the season, the beginning for the seasonable future of this Los Angeles Clippers season. He will not be playing to start out the season. So what that means, that means that the Clippers will have to rely, rely on James Harden to carry them throughout the season until they figure out what's going on with Kawhi Leonard, until they figure out what's going to happen with Kawhi and see if, if he's available any match of the future, any time in the future. But right now, Kawhi Leonard will not be playing the start of the season. And this one right here kills me. It that puts a dagger in my heart. That puts a fucking dagger through the Clippers' hearts, through the Clippers' fan base hearts. Because you, I ain't gonna lie, Cole. I ain't gonna lie. This this one right here kind of just pissed me off a little bit. <sighs> Kawhi Leonard had all this time. He had all the months, all these days, all these. You know what I'm saying? To heal up this knee. And some odd reason, it's just not been healing. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I never seen somebody need to be swollen this bad that it it is months. It's months in the taking. Like, it takes months for the shit to heal. Like, I never seen that. Now, I had got knee swollens before playing football. I got knee swollens for, before. And it only took me about a week or two weeks to heal. And I was back fine, moving and back walking. I was bed bound for like two weeks. So you tell me that my man Kawhi Leonard, I ain't going to lie, my man. I think his knees might be really shot. And it it's, it's, heart, it's heartbreaking because it's it's put pain to my chest, it put pain to my heart to say that my man's Kawhi might have to might have to hang his jersey up and uh and 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 it's call it quits. You had a Hall of Fame career. You had you know what I'm saying you, you had two time defensive player of the year awards. You had I think it was you what you was like a six time, six, seven time all star appearance. Uh Two-time NBA Finals champ, two-time champion, two-time NBA Finals MVP, and this right here hurts. It really hurts because um, I'm getting so excited. I'm thinking that the Clippers can make some noise. You know, what I'm saying this year, prove right, right, wrong. You know, how people riding us off because you know we got rid of Paul George and shit. You know, and since we got rid of Paul George, Kawhi and James Harden is probably gonna be one of the greatest duos because I'm thinking him. That's probably better than. Paul George and Kawhi era. This part, this this uh duo, James Harden and, and um Kawhi duo might be better than, than that era, and this might start a new era in in the into it dome. But some odd reason, um, it's starting off bad. It's starting off really bad. And Kawhi Leonard, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just don't know what what, what my man's gonna hold. I don't know what what time he gonna be back. I don't even know. What's going to happen with him for real? I don't even know what the season is going to be like this year. Like, honestly, the Suns, shit, the Clippers could be probably, to hurt me, the Clippers could probably be the worst team in the league. We could be one of the worst teams in the league this season. The way how uh things looking. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think we going to, I don't, I do not think, I still don't think we're going to miss the playoffs because Proving, proving a lot. James Harden is a proven player. He played in this league for hella years, and he carried teams like he carried those Houston teams by himself to the playoffs and got them into a good seating. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna really sit there and say uh, James Harden can't carry this Clippers team, this this Clippers team to the playoffs. But it, man, um, 
it's going to be real tough. It's definitely going to be real tough. It'll be easier for James to make the, the – to be it'd be easier on him if he had Kawhi out there, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, one thing, we starting off – isn't we start – yeah, we starting opening night against the Phoenix Suns next week. And you telling me, because Kawhi not there, so we – that means we have to play against Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill. Oh, shit. I ain't going to lie. I, I don't know if we're going to win that game. I don't know if we're going to win that opening night game. I don't even know if we're going to win a couple of these games because we got the Suns. We got the Denver Nuggets, nigga. Niggas got the Golden State Warriors. And then we got the Suns again. Like, we got these tough, we got a tough schedule to start out the year. So I don't even know how many games the Clippers can win for this type of schedule. I just don't know. And I have a bad feeling that we could start off really bad to start off the season. And then, you know, one thing that's even more worse, that the Clippers don't have no draft picks. They don't have no first rounders. They don't have no first round draft picks. They might got second rounders, but they don't have first rounders. They don't have no type of first rounder picks. So if they get they start off real bad, you know what happens? Those picks makes even makes it even greater for OKC, because OKC is gonna be in a standout. Be all getting all the Clippers picks, getting all the fucking draft capital, because we because the Clippers honestly might have shot themselves in the foot making that Paul George trade, but they didn't know they didn't know that uh that that the uh the that that era of Paul George and Kawhi was gonna be this bad. They didn't know that at the back back then. Back then, you talking about you get a two time Finals MVP, and then you round it off, and you get a goddamn prime Paul a, a Paul George that's still slightly in his prime, and you, you you know what I'm saying? You would think that this team would win a championship, at least one at least one title out of the brunch, but um, yeah, man, I don't know, man. Kawhi Leonard is looking bad for Kawhi. And the Clippers to start off the year. And honestly, man, hopefully he can come back. But if he can't, if he can't come back this season, the season is a wrap. It's going to be over. And um, the Clippers might have to uh, think about doing something with Kawhi here. I don't know if they got to do some trades. I don't know if they got to uh, tell Kawhi just to retire and the Kawhi have to decide just to do that. But I just don't know. Now, I'm I am a Kawhi Leonard fan, but that's why it hurts me even more because I'm a fan of this brother. I watched this man from the San Antonio days, from the San Antonio days to the Toronto Raptor days, now to the Clipper days, and the Clipper days are looking bad for him. The Clipper days are definitely looking bad, and um, this this one right here hurts. This one is a gut puncher. It's a, a painful way to feel, but. Leave a like below. Also, subscribe. I catch y'all later, my guys. My name is King Trent TV, and I catch y'all later. Peace out, my friends. Open this eyes, how they're hiding from the storm. Try to patch all this hole, yeah. I'm a fucking dumb.